welcome to my 11th presentation for the team of purchase and contracts and today's topic is how do we negotiate hot forging rates logically <clears throat> overall this is my 85th presentation considering all the youtube presentations that i have made so far what i plan to include in this are what are they forging the purpose uh, what influences the cost of the hot forgings approach for negotiating the cost of hot forgings and then raw material cost how to estimate how to estimate portion plant machinery cost how to portion how to estimate a portion manpower cost how to estimate a portion manufacturing variable cost how to um, estimate marketing variable cost how to compute overheads how to estimate vendor margin and taxes then standard unpopulated template for instant use by all the professionals estimated cost of hot forgings in illustration final negotiation strategy for forgings and pitfalls in negotiation and key takeaways this is a picture of a forging component of course there can be many other components which i'll be sharing soon what are forgings forgings are components used by the comp compressive forces metal is found deformed plastically using dies or hammers improving strength and grain structure a different type of forging processes are used such as hot forging cold forging upset forging press forging open die forging and so on and so forth depending on the size shape and quality of the forgings in this article we shall be focusing primarily on the hot forgings using the first principle costing approach forging purpose of forging is to provide high strength and durability and they are used in automotive aerospace industrial machinery etc and suitable for high load and safety critical applications examples are like crankshafts camshaft gears crown wheel pinions shafts etc for the gearbox and these forgings of different types are actually produced out of metal by taking the metal above uh, different temperatures like hot forgings above the recession temperature cold forgings near the room temperature <coughs> warm forging at intermediate temperature and so so forth as mentioned here now the cost elements which influence the hot forgings are primarily material die equipment labor and of course other like material <coughs> manufacturing variable cost and marketing variable cost etc the technical aspects which influence the hot forgings are technical aspects are size of the forging this is in the column number one here <coughs> size of the forging in terms of design complexity to weight the type of steel like alloy steel or carbon steel etc quality requirements of the forgings but given by the customers like chemical composition grain size hardness mechanical properties like yield strength <coughs> ultimate cell strength etc micro and macro micro structures and <coughs> manufacturing technology and dies and tools cost and life commercial aspects of course are like quality or the number of pieces rate of uh, uh, rate of raw materials their availability sizes and volatility skill labor availability competition and payment terms etc uh, approach for uh, negotiation for hot forgings so these can be made out of different kind of steel like carbon steel or alloy steel or stainless steel depending on the application which i have mentioned here and in this article we will negotiate hot forgings and similar approach can be pursued for other type of forgings the first principle costing elements will be considered for this working out the costs and these are like raw materials, plant and machinery, tools, jig switchers, manpower, manufacturing variable cost, marketing variable cost, overheads, margin, and taxes. And uh, a team uh, who should negotiate a team of competent professionals having the necessary skills out of the 40 skills that I identified and, and earlier and shared in my ninth blog posted on 11th April on YouTube and LinkedIn and needs to negotiate the rates based on this. The raw materials picture is shown here steel and gods of 8620. It can be any material like 20M SFI or any other alloy steel or plain carbon steel, etc. Now, assumption in our illustration are that uh, let's assume that out of the PL statement of the hot forging plant or the forger or the vendor uh, and the budgetary estimate that. The total cost is to be say rupees 975 lakhs uh, considering the 1500 metric tons of production considering 5 metric tons of forging production per day into 300 working days. Yield let's assume it is 85 to 90 percent depending on the hammer design, the die design and the flash cutting etc. And let's assume that raw material cost per kg is say rupees 65 per kg for the alloy steel 
considering annual consumption of 975 lakhs divided by 1500 metric tons. So it works out to be rupees 65 per metric per kg, which is shown in this resource tablet, which I'll be sharing. And this resource tablet uh, is numbered as RT2 resource template 2, which is exactly identical to the one which is RT1 for GI costing castings earlier shared, but is number as RT2 for clarity and distinction. Now this is a picture of the uh, basic picture of the planet machinery cost where you find a hammer and the item to be forged in the declare. Now key plant and machinery for hot forging product. These major equipments include like forging press, induction heater, hammer, etc. and handling equipment and so on and so forth. Let's assume in our illustration that there are investments are worth 300 lakhs, depreciation is 10%. The AMC annual maintenance cost is 3%, finance cost is 10%. So, depreciation works out to be 30 lakhs, 9 lakh, AMC 10, 9 lakhs and finance cost 30 lakhs respectively based on simple formula and these are 69 lakhs overall. So, the cost per kg portion based on this is three, uh, 69 lakhs divided by 1520 tons which is rupees 4 rupees 60 paisa per kg and this can be captured in this uh, resource template to row 2. How to estimate and apportion manpower cost? The let's understand that the key manpower for the forging plant, hot forging plant are payroll, all welfare costs for die makers, punch makers, metallurgists, quality control inspectors, maintenance technicians, and so on and so forth. Let's assume that there are forty numbers engaged in the forging plant, and each one is drawing a salary of rupees twenty five thousand per month. Average, of course, this is average, but it can vary considerably from the workmen to the skilled people, uh, uh, the engineers, etc. And let's uh, so the manpower cost, annual manpower cost, works out to be rupees 100, 120 lakhs, which is forty percent into twenty five thousand rupees per month into twelve. So this cost per kg works out to be total cost of 120 lakhs divided by 1500 metric tons which is 8 rupees 8 per kg it is shown in row row number 3 how to estimate and portion the tool jigs and feature cost so this is showing the top die and the <coughs> with the cavity at the bottom die now the tools required for the forging are like forging dies punches etc and jigs which are like tongs and wheels etc and let's assume that the total cost is a 4% of the investment cost which works out to 12 lakhs. So the estimated cost per kg uh, for uh, jigs fixture etc is rupees 80 rupees point, 0 0.80 per kg which is 12 lakhs divided by 15 metric tons. This is shown in row number 4 of the source template 2. Manufacturing variable cost. Now the in a, in a forging plant the manufacturing variables are like power, furnace oil, lubricants, oils, <coughs> uh, coatings. Uh, water, compressed air, labor wages like uh, forging press operator, die setter, furnace operator, flash remover, quality control gauges, etc. And let's assume that the total cost is say, estimated to be 105 lakhs per annum. So the cost per kg is equal to rupees 105 lakhs divided by 15 metric tons. So it is 7 rupees per kg. Just simple formula. And this can be captured in a uh, row 5. How to estimate marketing variable cost? What are the marketing variable costs in the case of hot forging? These can be packaging material, protective costing, or protective coating, sorry, uh, label and branding, mandatory certificate, if applicable, cost for the uh, freight insurance warranty, etc. Let's assume these costs are estimated in 90 lakhs per year, per year. So the cost per kg is equal to 6 per 6 rupees 6 per kg, which is 90 lakhs divided by 20 metric tons. And this can be shown in the row number 6. How to compute overheads? Overheads are like in any other business, like admin and over, or office staff, rent, software, security, testing, certification, utilities, etc. And these are usually taken as a percent of the cost as the vendor may not be willing to give a cost breakup and or may have some other products for other customers where common overheads are not apportioned on pro data basis. So this is to be captured in the resource tablet in row number 8. And in, in my uh, this template, the row number 7 is also introduced, which is reserved for any other cost, which may be like statutory cost or any other cost, which are not mentioned here. How to estimate vendor margin? These vendor margin or profit margin are taken as based on the tech type of technology used in the manufacturing, vendor infrastructure in terms of equipment, process tools, jig switches, etc. And these are called charge as percentage and based on the industry practice, etc. 
and uh, this is to be captured as a resource template and row number 9 similarly taxes are governed by the hsn uh, classification of the material in this case <coughs> uh, in this case forging sorry uh, mention is jay cast forgings hence personal data is applicable as goods and service tax so this is to be captured in the resource template row 10 so uh, uh, this is a resource template too which I was mentioning earlier and it has got uh, different uh, 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 columns like column 1, 2, 3, 4 which are column uh, which are serial number, cost head, cost per unit to be populated by by the buyers and suggested approach for estimating the cost per unit in column number 3. So here I have shown material cost row 1, uh, plant and machinery cost row 2 <coughs> and the basis of uh, assumption for arriving at this so these are different rows where these costs are to be taken like uh, i mentioned uh, uh, manpower cost tools manufacturing labor cost marketing labor cost other costs subtotal personal labor, markup etc so total cost based on the above can be taken so this template can be straightway used by the uh, professionals so in our assumption Let's go back to working which we have discussed earlier. The raw material costs are say rupees 55, 65 per kg. Plant and machinery cost is rupees 4 rupees 60 pesa per kg. <coughs> Manpower cost 8 per uh, rupees 8 per kg and so on and so forth. So to subtotal it works out to be rupees 91.40 per kg. And we have to add overheads and vendor margin and taxes. So total landed cost for the forging will be rupees 91.40 per kg plus overhead plus vendor margin plus taxes. Final negotiation strategy for hot forgings. Post RFQ evaluation, uh, post uh, request for quote evaluation, conducted two part comparative analysis one is the technical evaluation and second the commercial evaluation, depending on the uh, number of vendors, etc. And then vendor uh, negotiation process, which is each vendor to be invited and uh, each shortest vendor to be invited and uh, negotiation to be held in a structured manner using the uh, following inputs one is the comparative bid charts uh, visual presentation of received and negotiated bids initial negotiated and first principle costing estimates so these two point these points put together they will enable a good logical negotiation and this will enable a outcome which will be uh, a transparent data driven negotiation process uh, that fosters mutual valuation and win-win outcomes. Of course, the comparatives of the other vendors are to be kept confidential with the buying team. Strategy and pitfalls. Strategy. Use first principle costing to break down component costs. Pitfalls are that supplier may dispute assumptions of input data like material, GD, etc. Then overconfidence in the cost breakdown may lead to rigid negotiation and reduce flexibility. Strategy, strategy number 2.2 .2 strategy was encourage transparency on input costs like billet, rise, energy, labor, etc. The pitfalls are supplier may feel threatened or become defensive, fearing exposure of margins, and they may provide vague data to maintain information asymmetry. Strategy 3 understand tooling cost and amortization. Pitfalls tooling costs might be inflated or recovered too quickly on a few parts. Strategy 4 Discuss manpower and handling efficiency. Pitfall Labor norms may be outdated or differ significantly across suppliers. Point number 5 Strategy Validated energy and fuel costs and pitfalls are that allocation on energy may be arbitrary. Point 6 Strategy Insist on overheads and margin segregation. Suppliers may club overheads and margins, making it harder to distinguish cost drivers. 7 Include reasonable scrap and rework alliance. Pitfall vendor may initially quote low rejection rates to win business. Point 8. Strategy. Formalize price revision formula for raw material cost and other cost elements. The absence pitfall is the absence of any price variation clauses exposes the buyer to inflation risk. Of course, this is I have, my focus was only on the cost. Other rates, other terms and conditions, of course, need to be negotiated, like supply condition and payment terms, etc. Key takeaways. Now, I have created a ODME course on contract negotiation where such details are given. And this course was launched on 28 December 24, 
and this updated status as of today 22nd april is that uh, there are 500 5229 course enrollments by professionals with a 4 point star rating on this course out of 5 points and there are 170809 the number of views clicks by professionals with 487 hours of watch time on 10 blogs which i have created actually these blogs i am creating because people who can't afford to buy this would be uh, they can uh, refer to this uh, on my youtube and this 4871 hours is the watch time for a total recording of 2 hours 6 minutes for 10 blocks uh, overall there are 84 blocks which i have posted including my two books on business ethics and 10 blocks out of this course so there are total 1.29 million uh, views uh, with 22,735 watch hours on 84 blocks and these books are available on amazon uh, india and overseas and i have given the link here uh, i hope you like this presentation and make use of this for your future <coughs> needs thank you very much